What's up, guys? It's your boy, Barca Boy 103. We have some huge news coming in. The second signing of this window for Barcelona has been completed, and it is Adama Traore. Romano came out saying Adama Traore to Barcelona. Here we go, a loan for the rest of the season with a buy option at the end, not mandatory, for 30 million euros plus bonuses, and Barcelona will cover all of his salary from now until June. But Adama Traore has taken a wage cut at Wolves, so Barcelona can afford his registration. So again, Adama coming for the rest of the season. To be honest, I'm okay with it because it's just a quick replacement for Ousmane Dembele who could be leaving the club in the next few days as well. We needed something, right? We cannot go into the rest of the season with, uh, you know, Ansu Fati out and only wingers we have is Ferran Torres and Abdi. Xavi demanded another winger to come in. He got his man in Adama Traore. Now for me, Adama Traore, I mean, he has incredible pace, incredible dribbling, but his finishing is absolutely dreadful. I think the club will not buy him no matter how he does run now until the end of the season. What we're hearing right now in the media is that he's coming in as a short term replacement coming in on loan they will only buy him if he does exceptionally well but Wolves wanted to have that buy option in the deal to complete the deal and Barcelona accepted so there we go a second signing is done for this window Adama Traore of course former Barcelona La Masia player I've seen him a couple of times in Barcelona in that 2014-2015 season I think he scored a goal doesn't do too badly but I think Adama he's gonna be a very very short term fix he's gonna come in help us out and then go back to Wolves. He could go back to Tottenham as well. I uh, keep an eye on that as well. We could end up buying Adama Traore with the Trincao swap deal. Of course, Trincao right now is at Wolves. They want him there. They don't really want Adama anymore. If Adama does well, instead of paying that 30 million uh, euro buy option, we could end up doing a swap deal with Trincao. So keep an eye on that. Of course, if Adama performs from now until the end of the season. But like I said, he's coming in as a short-term replacement for Ousmane Dembele, who hopefully will leave the club in the next couple of days. But there you go. Second signing of this window is now complete. I do think there'll be one more. Watch out for that left back. It could be Tagrifico, Cremaldo. We'll talk about all these people in the next transfer video. Also in the previous one, we talked about that as well. So check out the last video. I think there will be one more signing, but this signing was completed in like 48 hours. Apparently yesterday, Jorge Mendes had a meeting with Barcelona, talking about Alejandro Baldi maybe going on loan to Ajax. In that meeting, Jorge Mendes talked about Adama Traore. 48 hours later, it's a done deal. Tomorrow, Adama Traore will have his medicals at Barcelona. And his presentation right now is scheduled for Monday. But of course, Monday is deadline day, so I don't think that's going to be very likely. Tuesday, of course, Laporte will have a press conference talking about, you know, Bartomeu, all that stuff. So I think it could be Wednesday. I'd be shocked if it's on Monday, especially on deadline day, but that's just being rumored right now. But that's it. Adama Traore is a done deal, of course. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Would you buy him if he performs well? You think it's a, you know, decent uh, coming quick replacement for Usman Dembele? Like I said, for me, I think... I think if he gets like double figures and goals and assists, the club will buy him. Anything else, I don't think uh, I don't think the club will buy him. Even if Chavi fancies him, 30 million is just too much for a player like what he, you know, puts out on the pitch. And of course, like I said in yesterday's video or today's video, all the money that Barcelona have will go towards Erling Haaland. So they don't want to spend this, like I said. Wolves wanted to have that buy option in there just to complete the deal. And Barcelona accepted it. So that's how it's going to go. But yeah, leave me your thoughts down below. Do you think it's a good signing? Would you have gone for someone else? I know a lot of you guys are a big fan of Anthony, so am I. But getting Anthony on loan right now is near impossible. We can't even get Taglifico, let alone Anthony. But, you know, I think they went for a Spanish winger. I don't know why Chavi's trying to do Spain FC at Barcelona with experience in La Liga. He's played in a couple other teams. I think he's gone on loan there. And of course, former Barcelona player, he knows the system, knows the style, knows the language. Can come in and bed very well. Of course, he knows a lot of the Spanish boys, Ferran Torres, Busi, Pedro. I think he was part of the Euro squad uh, last summer. So he knows the lad's going to come in, help us out, hopefully get us top four, maybe challenge for the Europa League, and then hop on the train back to Wolves, I believe. Again, they don't, the club will not buy him unless... He does something outrageous. Everything in the media right now saying, look, Adama Traore is just a quick, short-term replacement for the outgoing Ousmane Dembele because Chavi said, look, I need a winger to compete for top four and maybe win the Europa League. If you don't give me that winger, we are screwed. We are literally screwed. Of course, Jutla on the wing, not doing too well. Ansu Fati out for the pretty much the rest of the season. He'll come back for like the last few weeks and that's pretty much it. So coming in, help us out. I think it will be good. I'm going to end it there. Again, leave me your thoughts down below. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And again, Adama Traore is Barcelona's second signing of the window. Of course, alongside Ferran Torres coming in on loan for the rest of the season with a buy option as a replacement for Usman Dembele who hopefully hopefully will leave the club in the next couple days and I'll see you guys next time on the channel take care and Forza Barca